This episode is brought to you by Kia's first three-row all-electric SUV. The Kia EV9. With available all-wheel drive and seating for up to seven adults. With a zero to 60 speed that thrills you one minute. And available reclining lounge seats that unwind you the next. Visit kia.com slash ev9 to learn more. Ask your Kia dealer for availability. No system, no matter how advanced, can compensate for all driver error and or driving conditions. Always drive safely. Join me, 48 Hours correspondent Erin Moriarty, on my podcast, My Life of Crime, as I take on true crime investigations like no other. This season, I'm looking into the labyrinth of crime and secrets within families. I'm cutting straight to the evidence and talking to the people directly involved, including investigators and the families of victims. Listen to My Life of Crime with Aaron Moriarty wherever you get your podcasts. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. And in today's episode, I'm probably going to get canceled for doing this episode. But anyways, um, I, I guess maybe I can try hiding it by titling it Throwing Fits Out in Public because, no, nah, man, like, I get it if a kid does it. But when you're a full-grown adult doing it, it it's one of those things where I'm going to look at you like you're crazy because... It wouldn't be no different if I were to go out in public, throw a fit because like, oh, okay, let's say I'm at, um, no, all right, uh, j- all right, so just yesterday, just yesterday, I go to Champs, and on the website, they said that they had these Jordans in stock. All right, cool. Go up there. I get there. They don't have them. I asked the one cashier. She said they don't have them. I showed them the website, and it said that they were in stock. They did not have them. So, instead of throwing a fit, causing a big scene, honestly going to get myself to a point where I get absolutely nowhere, I left. And I decided, you know what, until they fix their website, I have no reasons to go back into that store at all. If I got to travel out my way to go somewhere else or buy whatever pair of shoes I want to buy online, so be it. I don't care. But... I just know that I'm not going to do business. It's either going to be a while or I don't see myself in the future doing any more business with them. So anyway, so yeah, I just ended up going to another shoe store, ended up buying a pair of shoes that I've never had before. I'm trying to do that more, buy shoes that I don't have so I can, you know, make uh, videos on them on YouTube and things. But and it was a pair of Jordans that I like, not the colorway, but I have that model of Jordans and stuff. So but anyways... Now, let's say if I were to go in there and throw a fit about it, right? Let's say I go in there and I'm like, I'm yelling, I'm getting loud. And what are some some other things? I start screaming to the top of my lungs. Like I start just acting out. Where is that going to get me? You know, so anyways, the main motivation behind this episode is I saw this video. And I know some people in the comments um, were trying to defend the woman, but as I see it, my thing is, is this, if you know you're going to react that bad out in public, then it's, it's one of those things where it's like, and especially what was being like, you know, the whole, like the whole start of the, you know, situation, like why it became a video in the first place. I I just felt like that it wasn't a valid reason to carry on like the way that the woman was carrying on in the video. But, um, no, the way, so the guy so that's actually what had happened so the guy he i guess was standing in line it looked like they were yeah they were at walmart so he's standing in line and she just walks up and cuts him in line starts paying for her stuff all that so he's trying to like get on her about it and things like saying like hey you cut me in line blah 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 so at some point then that's when he started recording she's yelling like literally yelling telling him to leave then at one point she just starts screaming Like, she's not even saying words. She's just screaming. And I'm watching that video, and I'm thinking to myself, like, why are you carrying on? That's actually what I was going to say. Like, if you're going to carry on like that out in public, fam, you shouldn't even go outside. Like, to be honest, you should not go outside. I know people are going to say, you know, everything under the moon to defend this woman. But at the end of the day, and again, if that was me, people would tell me literally the same thing. Oh, then you shouldn't go out. Go, Don't go outside then if that if it bothers you that much. You should have been looking and see where uh, that per, um, person was standing in line. If it was me, because I know how people act. I know how people are. I, I know how people think. 
And I know that people would say some stuff, but let it be them or let it be some other random person. Yeah, it's going to be, you know, yeah, they're, oh, no, she, well, she has her reason. She has, so yeah, people were trying to say, like, you know, she must have went through some traumatic experience or something prior before. I'm like, involving people getting cut in line? I'm saying, like, it, it ain't even like some, like, somebody pulled out a switchblade and they just start slicing at people. No, I'm saying, like, somebody was standing there and then she or whoever walks up and then they just go out in front of them. And they don't even allow this person to get their turn to go and check out whatever. That's traumatizing? Cutting people in line? Bruh, nah, man. I, there's, I just, me personally... I feel like that there ain't no defense for that. You know, you're trying to put on this show for whatever reason. And it's like, fam, it's not necessary at all. Because it's honestly, yeah, and that's where it led her. It led her on the internet. And you got, like, yeah, you probably have, like, a percentage of people defending you. But you also have a very high percentage of people making fun of you. Like, how, my thing is, is this. You know you carry on like that out in public, right? And that's leading back to, you know, my original question, like, why would you even go outside? But it's like, no, seriously, why would you go outside? If you, my thing is this, it's, it, based off of that video, it sounded like she was already having a bad day. So my thing is this, you know you're having a bad day, unless you're one of those people, and that's who I was consider myself. Like, if I'm having a bad day, I'm not going to take my anger out on people. You know, and even if it's on some stuff where it's like, okay, yeah, let's say if um, people probably ask me, what would I do in her shoes? I will get all my, I will actually uh, let that person go ahead of me. If I, and my thing is this, like, let's say if I'm like halfway through checking out and the person was all like, oh, hey, I'm like, oh man, I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't, you know, I didn't see you and things. Now, if they're getting um hostile and crazy towards me, I'm like, fam, I apologize. Like, I don't know what more you want me to say in things, you know? But yeah, again, I'm having a bad day. So probably I would get a little bit riled up, you know? I'm like, fam. I apologize. Chill out, okay? Like, I, you know, you're gonna have your turn. I'm only checking out some energy drinks and some water, you know? Yeah, I, well, all right, so we're, if, yeah, we're at a Walmart. I was about to say, I was about to say some sneakers, but I'm like, nah, man. I don't know. I haven't bought no shoes from Walmart. I've been thinking about it because I'm like, I want to, like, review them and stuff, but no, nah, I haven't, I haven't made that move yet. But yeah, let's say, you know, I'm buying me some energy drink and I'm buying these Shaquille O'Neal shoes, you know? I'm like, bruh. I'm, it's all gonna be a quick ring up, but yeah, let's say if I'm there ringing up a bunch of stuff, then it's like, you know, like I said, I would apologize if the person's still getting all riled up about it, it's like, okay, fam, like, I, I don't know what more you want from me, like I said, like, I, I apologize, you know, but, and then it's like, if you catch me on a good day, it's, you know, I guess, yeah, I would, you know, just, it still would be the same thing, I, I feel like I really don't, change my personality like who i am like it don't really change because the thing is is this i that's one thing that i understood growing up was that just because i'm having a bad day doesn't mean that others is you know there to like add more to my bad day and things a lot of the times you know you're beating people that's gonna most likely make your day go good you know so no i can even think of when i went to go do um jury duty and jury duty sucks like, I hated jury duty, bro, and I'm, you know, I don't like using the word hate, but I'm like, no, they, they try calling me in for another, I'm like, I can't do that again, mentally, I cannot do that again, <laughs> jury duty, it is not it, bro, I'm telling you, like, anybody that, you know, you get signed up for jury, uh, jury duty, do it, like, one time, and that's really about it, but other than that, I'm like, nah, bro, I can't, I can't do it no more, so, but, um, no, like, I remember I was there, frustrated, upset, like, you know, I'm sitting in the room for hours, just literally doing nothing and things, and, um, no, I remember, like, the next day when I had to go back there, uh, there was a guy that I just randomly just started talking to and stuff, like, I think he sat, he, yeah, he sat with me, and, yeah, we just started striking up a conversation, and, it, and the thing is this, like, that's, that's one thing that I, that I can say that I can enjoy from a person, you know, where it's like, we're just talking, you know, like, we ain't even talking about nothing, and I think that's what he, um, what he did start talking on at one point, I don't know if he was just doing that, like, maybe thinking I was, he was gonna get a reaction out of me, and I was gonna start acting all hostile and crazy, I'm like, yeah, I'm the wrong one, you know, like, may, may I, like, maybe, maybe if it had been somebody else, then, you know, possibly they could have gave out a reaction, but me, I'm like, I, I don't be, like, I 
I, I might do reaction videos, but I don't really be reacting to stuff like that. So, but no, he comes up to me and he starts talking about how it's like, how it was bad for like the football players to, to kneel during the national anthem and stuff. And um, I'm thinking to myself like, oh, okay, if that's how you feel. That's how you feel. I'm like, I, you know, I ain't going to take that away from you and things like, yeah, I could try to, thing is this, I could try to plead my case or, you know, plead the case of why uh, athletes and people are um, kneeling during the national anthem. But it's like, what is, that's not going to change your mindset. So I'm like, I guess if you were seeking, um, seeking a changed mindset, then it's like, fam, you got to change down your own well-being. I'm not going to be the spokesperson for people kneeling during no national anthem. The only thing I'm going to do is for myself is support it so but anyways um but yeah it was like you know it's one of those things where it's like in a situation like that even if the conversation wasn't the conversation i was seeking still though i can even think of at times where i'll be at the uh um at, like at my old job the cafe where um customers they just start striking up a conversation i'm like yeah i could be having a stressful day at that place but having it where it's like there's those people that's there just to you know kind of like make the day better and things yeah i'm like i look forward to that stuff but and that's the thing though where it's like getting back to what i was saying where it's like i again if i'm having a bad day and these people come to me and they're just wanting to have a conversation i'm like i would tell them but most of the times i usually just put that stuff aside and i just have like a new mindset when i am talking to somebody so and i think that's a lot of times like what people need to be doing getting back to this girl and i'm like you already having a bad day you go to walmart checking out things you cut a person in line and it's like fam you know apologize for that stuff and go on about your business that's it if the person's hassling you over it this well like okay look fam i apologize nothing more needs to be said it's like if you really that upset about you know being cut in line and stuff then it's like fam you gotta be you know you gotta be quick about that you know and so that's why i'm like i i guess like yeah you know if, if there's anything else that i could have said possibly in that situation then yeah i would have said that but it's like to hassle me over it it's like fam that's that's not gonna lead you nowhere i'm, I'm still still checking out my stuff you know so but yeah, it's like, it's just, it's one of those things, but it's like getting back to the girl and stuff. It's, but it's like the screaming and all that stuff. It's like that. All right. So like, if I, if I guess I can use that as an example, like, of how could I, um, you know, like have that situation, but have it like where it's me and it's, you know, talking with a customer and things. So yeah, let's say a customer comes up to me and they're all like, oh, there's no more Coca-Cola in the um, fountain. And I just haul off and start screaming. And I'm like, I, I don't, I, you know, I'm like, I, I don't know what you want me to do. I don't know what you, and it's like, fam, I, I wouldn't, I would expect that customer to look at me as if I'm crazy because what is that gonna see that's the type of stuff that it's like i want to like put i bro i'm telling you there's gonna be at a point in time where i start doing like these you know like that tv show what would you do i'm about to just start recruiting some of my friends and then just having it where it's like that stuff is displayed like out in public you know just just to capture people because i know like there's a bunch of people in this world that most likely haven't seen that video so i just want to see what because yeah i'm pretty sure everybody that's there is like because at the the point where in the video Video where she's just screaming and there is like she's not even saying words she's just ah ah like doing that but like in a girlier like her voice wasn't it wasn't like sounded like that but it was like in a more like like dramatic like how the woman was screaming in uh king kong the 2005 king kong movie because she was screaming all throughout that that's how she was screaming and i'm thinking to myself like how upset are you to where you gotta scream like that out in public she's screaming as if she's being attacked and it's stuff like that where it's like you know when people when they start talking about oh i'm being triggered or you're attacking me and i'm like fam all i'm just doing is telling you like hey just look around and stuff to see because i know i know when i'm walking up to a checkout area i'm always looking around and seeing and stuff is if, if there's any hidden you know like oh, okay like they that person blends in with the clothes like oh let me no i'm always looking around so i, I don't think i don't think there has ever been a time i think there was a one time where the guy was trying to and i was i was getting a little bit wrapped up in that situation because i was like okay i was already up here paying for my stuff so so it's like, and you wasn't even in the line. I waited in line. I got up. So no, that's what that situation was. So anyways, 
And I just know there's going to probably be somebody that hears this and we're like, well, next time, make sure you get the right drink. And I'm like, how about you just don't listen to my podcast no more? So <laughs> to, to whoever wants to say some old dumb stuff. But anyways, so I get up to, so I went, this is when I was working in Seattle. So there's this um, corner store that sold these protein drinks that I buy. Now, at the time being, I don't know because I, I don't see if they sell that flavor anymore, but they have the vanilla flavor, which is what I buy. And then they have the banana flavor. I guess just you know long day and it was just like the first half of the day that's the crazy part so but anyways long day i got mistaken by which drink that i had grabbed so excuse me so anyways i mistakenly bought or not bought. i grabbed the banana flavor i was already in line i waited in line then when i got up to the cash register so i was already there i ain't cut nobody i was in line all right so anyways that guy he was nowhere to be found so anyways I go and I'm like, oh man, this is the uh, banana flavor. Can I just run back and go get the vanilla flavor real quick? The cashier, she ain't had no issues about it. She still kept, you know, the thing open and stuff. So anyways, I go run back, hurry up, run. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a little fast on my feet. So I ran back, hurry up, came back. And, uh, yeah, I start ringing up my stuff. Guy comes up from the side of me talking about, oh, the line was back there. And I'm thinking to myself, like, okay, I don't, I don't want you talking to me, but all right fine if we're gonna start this conversation then okay let's start this conversation i'm like i was already in line paying for my stuff and he was like no you weren't and it's stuff like that where i know what i was doing i know i was doing the right thing but when people say things like just those those simple words eh, how how can i place it okay but let let me finish my story and then you know go on with the example and stuff i'll try to think of an example as i'm going on with my story but anyways um but no like He said that, and I'm thinking to myself, you are not about to argue with me about where I was at in this store. For one, you don't own this store. Second, I know I was up here paying for my stuff because even this cashier can vouch for me and say that I was up here paying for my stuff. Third, who are you? (laughs) Like, like, fam, I I don't know you, so don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that to yourself, you know? So anyways... Uh, then the cashier, I think she can tell that I was about to start getting a little routh up and things. And so that's when she chimed in and was like, no, he was up here paying for his stuff. And he's like, oh, yeah. And I was like, yeah. I'm like, bro, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. I'm like, cause yeah, I, we're like, I, it's one of those things where I'm like, yeah, just don't, don't do that to yourself. <laughs> it's, it's best for everybody. Okay. It's best for you. It's best for me. It's best for the people that's going to have to get involved. <laughs> it's just best that you don't do that to yourself. All right. So. But and I think I, I said something smart to him after I had left and things, and then I just, I left it at that. But it's like, no, I guess to, like, place that in an example, like, what he overall did that was starting to get me upset was that when I told him what I was doing, and then he just was like, no, you weren't. And I'm thinking to myself, like, okay, so let's say you're, you know, you, you accomplished something, right? You accomplished something. Let's say you... Uh, you want a drag race, all right? Let's say, yeah, you have a nice, you have a nice fast car. You just won this drag race. You go and you tell your friends about it, and then there's that one friend that just wants to be negative, and they're all like, so you're all like, oh yeah, I won the drag race today, and they're like, no, you didn't, and they're not, and they're like not saying it like, no, 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 you did, like, cause there's a difference of saying like, no, and then there's a difference of like, no, you didn't, like, I don't believe that you did, so unless you have some proof, so then there's that, and then there's the no you no, you like no you did like they it's like they're happy for you but that's just their choice of words at the moment in time and that's like people like that that makes me not want to talk with them you know like it, when they say things like that i'm like no i i can tell that you know the conversation ain't gonna be good so yeah but it's like when people when they do things like that i'm like yeah it's just so i i guess like if this woman you know if the guy was hassling her and that's why she got the screaming the, again the screaming ain't gonna help you know like that's that's just something where it's like fam you know calm yourself down because i can like i can tell you you have you having a little moment you're getting triggered or oh, i'm being attacked and yeah it, it's stuff like that where it's like fam you know you you gotta just you gotta just let stuff go you can't you can't let things get you that upset because as soon as people they see that you get upset then at that point they just gonna leave they gonna want to um have fun with you and so that's why i'm like people you got you more not so much as like hide your anger but control your anger let your anger out but more so in a controlled fashion you know so you ain't being made fun of on twitter and stuff so 
But anyways, yeah, you know, I guess that's the bad. I, I just know somebody's going to hear this. I, I feel like that woman's going to hear this. And she was like, yeah, I was that woman that was screaming and stuff in the video. I'm like, oh, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I don't I don't know what you want me to tell you and stuff. Then she watched, she just sends me like voice um things, just voice messages, just screaming. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to talk with this woman no more. So because if that orbit could like yell back at her, like, ah, ah, like, st I, don't, I don't know what she wants me to do. So, but anyways and that being said i will talk to y'all later thank you guys for watching and or listening stay tuned for the next episode and if you're purchasing any uh tickets or if you're so yeah if you're um use my promo code for these three platforms seat geek poggers and fatal grips uh promo code is tmospa seat geek will knock 20 dollars off your first purchase and fatal grips and poggers will knock 10 percent off of your next purchase so and that being said follow my socials too at tmospa on our platforms thank you guys for watching and or listening and peace